20 minute time limit. Entering the ring right now is from Mongolia, weighing 260 pounds, the Mongolian. And his opponent making his way to the ring area hails from Dorchester, New Brunswick, weighing 237 pounds, Leo Burke. And your referee for this match is Bernie Richard. Well, here we are at ringside. Gary Maxwell watching Leo Burke ready to step in against the Mongolian. There you see Burke taped up, still feeling the effects of that attack sustained last week at the hands of the Cuban assassin. Here he is in against the Mongolian. We're joined at ringside by Frenchie Martin. Yes, Mr. Who I, Maxwell. Who I know took great pleasure in watching that disgusting act. Well, I think it's, about time. I think it's Burke. about time that Leo Berg gets what he deserves. You know, Leo Berg's been uh, here in the Maritime as an idol for a lot of people, but I don't think it's a wrestler that the people should be proud of. I don't see what the guy's got. And look at, look what Leo Burke is doing right away. Leo Burke is obviously upset, obviously a man on a mission, and here he goes whipping the Mongolian post to post. What I don't understand is what Leo, everybody says about Leo Burke is such a great wrestler. And the first thing he does is go right to work with the kick and punches, as you've seen him. I think I don't blame him. I think he's not only mad, I think his madness is not realizing how big and how strong the Mongolian is. Well, Leo Burke has obviously got the upper hand here on the Mongolian. I've made the comment before, Frenchie, the Mongolian's not going to win too many beauty contests. Well, that's not the point. I don't think Leo Burke could win any contests at all. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to start managing some of the guys here and give Leo Burke and the likes of Leo Burke the hardest time they ever had in their career. You're going to get into managing. I know. I'll do whatever I want here, Maxwell. Let me tell you this. Anything I want. You see when I played with the kid last week? There's the Mongolian with a face rake on Leo Burke. The Mongolian going after Leo. There's a right hand, and it... Mongolian has reopened the cut on Leo Burke, and he is ripping Leo Burke's forehead. Burke is not going to get any sympathy from the Mongolian, and it's about time. I told you. How can you sit here? That guy is bigger than Leo Burke. Leo Burke's a nobody. There is no need for that in professional wrestling. Uh, that's about time Leo Burke gets his own medicine. He's looked for it for years. The Mongolian has reopened. That gash on Leo Burke's forehead that he received last week from the Cuban assassin. I think you might not see Leo Burke wrestle for a while. Leo Burke is obviously going to have to go for stitches to get this thing repaired properly. Here's Leo Burke, big boot coming off the road. Yeah, great boot. It's a kick. That's nothing to do with wrestling. Leo Burke. A punch. That has nothing to do with wrestling. Leo Burke. Say it like it is, Maxwell House. I'll say it. Kicks, kicks and punches. I'll tell you what's going on. Leo Burke is worked up into a fury. Here he is, the international heavyweight champ, whipping the Mongolian. And here it is, the sleeper hold. That's a joke hold. This is a sleeper hold. What? Perfect, perfectly you... legal. Come on, I'm telling you, it's a joke hold. Everybody see it. That guy's not breathing. You can say what you want, Frenchie, but it's obviously accepted within the rules and the regulations it's of World Cup Ray yet. Wrestling. He's not a, the Mongolian's not asleep yet. There goes the Mongolian the into Dreamland. The referee should stop the fight because Leo Blood is bleeding and too much. And rock a -bye Mongolian. This one's all over. He got lucky. And Leo Burke, his arm raised in victory, walks out a winner once again. We'll be back.